Derek Stevens in Santa Fe, and this piece is called October Contrast. Um, the forest is a subject I've worked with uh, extensively over the years. Uh, I moved to, mostly it was in the Great Lakes area. I'm from Michigan, and I moved to Santa Fe about 12 years ago, and um, I started spending time in the forest in the nearby mountains, and uh, aspen trees are particularly spectacular here, and in the fall it's like National Park spectacular, and there's traffic to go along with it. And where this scene comes from is actually one of the most popular uh, hikes. Uh, it's called Aspen Vista Trail. <clears throat> and it's not the first time this subject has been portrayed, but it fits into my theme of overlapping uh, shapes and patterns. I wanted to emphasize the movement of the clouds in the sky and into the masses of leaves and on uh, and so forth. Um, you know, the stunning beauty of these trees against the deep blue sky in the fall is just hard to resist. I titled this piece Enveloped in Blue because uh, it has an atmosphere of this uh, yellow is sort of enveloped or, or, or just immersed in this blue. Uh, you could call it a haze. Some people see it as water, which is also fine. Um, but the backlit effect is a subject that I've worked with extensively over the years and we all know how appealing this sort of backlit quality is, especially in the fall when the leaves turn hot red and in this case yellow. But also um, it's very, could be seen as atmosphere. The distant mountains and hills kind of turn a bluish color with the atmosphere in the air. And um, in this painting, I want, I've exaggerated the blue to the point where it could be seen as water and some of the materials are showing here, the strippiness of the paint has that waterish quality. Um, I generally like to emphasize the materials I'm working with. One of my favorite subjects, uh, the aspens, which have these patterns that uh, can be fun to play with in, a, in spatial relationships. Uh, sometimes they kind of flatten out in the juxtaposition from foreground to middle ground, but here be, with uh, a little more contrast, and in this case there's some sand, actual texture which simultaneously flattens out the surface because of the texture, but uh, it also jumps forward. So I like to play with those uh, spatial relationships. I just wanted to bask in this uh, warm light that falls uh, with the shadows and inter interspersed shadows and, and light areas. I titled this Sunday Morning Peace. I don't know why, I just, um, I think because I've hiked up there and that's just the feeling that I felt. Uh, about this particular piece and my times up there.